I'm Dr. David Hasse, and I'm sitting here with my dear friend, George. This is your 29th plasma exchange. Yep, yep. And uh, George is one of those humans that is proactive with regard to his health care. He already understood the benefits of plasma exchange. He'd heard quite a bit about it. And he's going like, hey, this could be really good for me in his course to optimize his health and performance. Uh, but he's also dealing with some substantial issues. Um, Very much. Yeah. But he was aware of how when we clean the blood that the body and brain can function better, that this is really a therapy for the stem cells that are present all, all across the body, not just a process that is cleaning out the, the schmutz <laughs> that's in there. So I'd like to take you on a little tour of what plasma exchange is like and what it's about. At the heart of plasma exchange is the patient. There are no two people that are the same. And making a medical procedure generic without really understanding who the person is, that's not good care. That's why when you do HOPE or habitat optimizing plasma exchange, it has everything to do with the person. This procedure cleans out the debris that is in the plasma, but if we're gonna optimize the habitat where cells live, you also need to add in the things that are going to be beneficial so that the cells can operate at their highest level. So we start with the patient. And the patient is generous and gives a supply of blood coming out one arm. And we're very proud of the fact that we have very high rates of peripheral access. That means we use regular IVs to pull the blood in and out. In a hospital setting, it's very frequently done with a central line, which is a, a big line that's put in. And sometimes that's necessary, rarely here, but that has more risk of infections, of blood clots, and of puncturing something of a vital organ. So the highest level of care is absolutely by getting access through peripheral IVs, which is really important. And then we come on over here and the blood comes in and it comes through this particular machine. This is the Fresenius Amicus. It is the state of the art, the most advanced apheresis device uh, in the world at the present time. It has the capability of pulling blood in Mixing it in this little red bag, there is an anticoagulant that gets added to the blood, therefore inhibiting the blood from clotting as it's going through the machine. That blood and anticoagulant mix goes down into this part of the machine where we see a centrifuge spinning very rapidly, continuously. And a centrifuge is used to separate components of the blood that are heavier and they sink from components in the blood that are lighter that float up. Well, the cells and the platelets are heavy. They go down. The plasma is light, so it stays up. And then the plasma is, now that it's separated, can be siphoned off and pulled off in one channel, and all the cells get pulled off and siphoned down another channel. The plasma goes up into this receiving bag, and then when this bag gets full, it is auto-pumped into the storage or uh, the discard bags. The blood comes up and it gets mixed with pharmaceutical grade albumin. Albumin is a protein. It's the most abundant protein in the blood. And it's necessary for the blood to hold on to the water that is inside of the bloodstream. If you don't have albumin, all the water in your bloodstream would kind of leak out into your tissues and people would get very puffy and that would not be a good thing. This is mixed with a augmentation fluid and our augmentation fluid is customized for individuals. Then this is something that gives us the ability to further decrease the risk of side effects and improve the cellular habitat of the body. So as the cells are mixed with the albumin and mixed with the augmentation fluid that is returned into the patient and that goes on continuously this takes about anywhere from an hour and 45 minutes to three and a half hours it depends upon the person it depends upon the veins it depends upon a lot of factors this is a highly customized therapy there's a lot of details that go into doing this well we are very proud to be the largest private plasma exchange facility in the United States, possibly the world. And we are very proud of our safety record. When you engage somebody to work with your 
plasma in your body. You really want to have a, a group and that has experience and is going to prioritize safety and also the comfort of the environment. I can't say enough about our amazing nursing staff because feeling safe and knowing that all the details are being taken care of is a very important part of healthcare. And so this, this whole process here is a opportunity for the blood to be cleaned. If we take a look at these bags here that are the refuse plasma, these will sometimes contain up to four liters of plasma during a single exchange. But it is kind of deceptive because you're just sitting here with what looks like you know, normal blood coming out, normal blood coming in, but in the middle uh, is a lot of cleaning that's happening. The other the interesting parts about this machine that really give it an edge is the accuracy level. Each one of these bags are actually hanging on a scale, and that scale is monitoring the exact weight of each one of these bags. The technology here is also measuring the exact amount of volume that's coming in and coming out. So we have two different ways of measuring precision with regard to how much is coming in and coming out. And we have the ability, and we do modify how the composition of the fluid that's coming in, we modify the speed. You need great equipment, you need great people, you need great processes, you need to prioritize safety. You also need to have an attitude that says, you recognize that you create your own health. And to the extent that you put your cells into a healthy environment, that is the extent to which your cells can do repair, can do the job of regeneration, and that part is up to you, the patient. So, George, thank you for being here today. Remove, replace, repair, restore. You got it, you got it. What we're here to do. <laughs> what we're certain of is that the body knows how to create health if we optimize the habitat in which the cells live.